Hey fam and welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So if you're finding my channel for the very first time, my name is Marsha and I'm your life and relationship strategist. I help men and women alike to create the relationship that they want, need, and desire by helping them to implement simple tips and proven strategies. So today we are going to be discussing how to become more confident at this thing we call dating. Stay tuned. All right, fam, thanks so much for coming back. So you want to know the seven tips that I'm going to give you today on how to be more confident in dating. Let's go ahead and jump right into them because you want to be a more confident dater, right? You actually want to get out there and have fun. So let's talk about it. The first thing that you want to do is to do something that you wouldn't normally do. Yes, you have to put yourself out there. You got to get out there and do something that you wouldn't normally do. For instance, the person wants to take you out on a date on bungee jumping. Yes, I know that that is old school, number one, and then it's kind of dangerous, number two. I get it, but your point that you're trying to do, the point that I'm trying to make is that you want to get out there and do something that you wouldn't normally do so you can have more experiences, so you can have something to talk about. Also, you're creating more memories with this person. And... Here's a counter. If you do not want to try that thing that's new, counter with them and say, you know what? I actually don't want to try bungee jumping, but I would love to go out on this date with you and let's try X. And X is something else that you would like to try that you have not tried before. So maybe you don't want to go bungee jumping. It's too scary. Whatever it is, you might think about dying and all this stuff. I totally get it. But do not say that you don't want to go. Just say, you know what? I don't want to try that thing. But I do want to try this thing. I've been wanting to try this thing. And then see where you guys can match up at. Maybe they've been wanting to try that other thing as well. You never know until you say something about it. But just don't not go because they want to do this one thing. You can suggest something else. Second thing that you want to do is go out on dates with people that you wouldn't normally go out on dates with. Because quiet as is kept, sis. Quiet as is kept, bruh. That list that you have either here or physical, actual list that you get to pull out of your pocket and look at that person that's on your list is not usually the person you end up marrying is not usually the person that you end up having the best relationship with here's why here's why you want to go out on the dates with the people that you would normally go out on dates with it's because that person that person that's not your ideal that's the person that you let down your guard with that's the person that gets to see who you are who you truly are without your mask being known that mask that you actually showcase to the ideal person. So maybe the ideal person on your list ask you out on a date. You've been out on several dates with that person or somebody that resembles on your list. But for some reason, things are just not working out. One of the reasons could be because they do not get to see the real you. With the person that you are out on the date with that not necessarily your type for whatever reason. That's the person that gets to see you for who you truly are because you don't feel like you have to put on a show for them or be Mr. Perfect or Mr. Gentleman or Miss Perfect or, you know, going out there and having on all of your stuff and putting all your stuff out there with the other person that's not your ideal. Guess what? You out there, you laughing and joking, you know, you talking about whatever the conversation is flowing and in that. The chemistry is building up. Y'all having all of these conversations about any and everything. It's because your guard is let down and you're becoming more vulnerable. So that person that's not ideal for you, that's not on your list, they get to see the real you. Which is why so many of us marry and, become in and be in these long-term relationships with the person that was not on our list. At least that's one of the reasons. The third way to become a more confident dater or be to become more confident at dating is to show up as your most authentic self. Show up and show out. And in that, you're showing up and showing out because now you already know in your heart of hearts, in your mind, that the person you're about to go out on a date with, they like you. It doesn't matter whether they know it or not. You know it. <laughs> and so when you show up, you are more confident. You are, you are exuding this confidence. And 
they're like, you know what? I actually do like them. But but they're not saying this out loud, right? This is something in their head. Or maybe after the date is over, they're like, wow, I really had a good time. I actually like that person. It's because you already putting out all of this positive energy. And when you showed up, you was like, he, he liked me or she liked me. And guess what? They actually do end up liking you. But that goes into point number two, because you're going out on these dates, you're becoming your authentic self, and the person is really seeing the true you. The fourth thing to think about, you're nervous, and not everybody is nervous going out on dates, but most people are nervous. So let's say, for instance, you're the nervous one. Okay, cool. I'm nervous out here. Guess what? Your date is nervous too. Nine times out of 10, your date is nervous. So when you want to go in there, and this is a part of being vulnerable or i.e. your icebreaker, especially if you really are nervous. Now, you're not saying this if you're really not nervous, but if you are nervous, you can go out there and you know what? I was really nervous coming here. I was really nervous to meet you, but I'm so glad that I got on my show. I'm so happy that I came here. I had an awesome time. Nine times out of 10, it ain't everybody, but nine times out of 10, your date is also going to say, you know what? I was nervous too. I don't know why I was nervous because we're having a great time, but I was nervous too. This is a way that you guys are connecting because you both were nervous, right? And now they get to see that you was being vulnerable. You get to see that they were being vulnerable. Again, connection, that the conversation is starting to flow more. And if you do end up making some mistakes, that they wouldn't necessarily like or that you're because you're nervous, like maybe you trip and fall or maybe you spill some stuff on you. Those mistakes can be forgiven because you know what? She said she was nervous or he said he was nervous. And sometimes I can look at it and be like, oh, that was cute because he already told me he was nervous. That was cute, actually. But if you didn't tell me that she was nervous, I'd be like, this dude is crazy. Like, is he really this clumsy? Right. You see the perspective. I come out there and I tell you that I'm nervous or you tell me that you're nervous and then all of this, all of a sudden all of those mistakes that you're doing, all the mistakes that I'm doing, they're not seen the same way. So in one instance, I'm like, oh, that's cute. It's because you was vulnerable with me before. Other instance, is he really this clumsy? Because you didn't tell me that you was nervous. Only thing I only thing I'm seeing is all of this, like you knocking over the drink <laughs> or you knocking stuff on me. <laughs> But I'm not thinking it's cute at the time because you get me dirty. If you go out there and be vulnerable, people will absolutely fall for the true you. Because all of us want to see the true person. And when we're going out on these dates and we're trying to learn, we know, yeah, we know, people go out there and are not their true selves and then you end up getting into a relationship with this person and all of a sudden you're like who in the hickety heck no no <laughs> that's not who i dated that's not who i wanted to be in a relationship with so if you go out there and just be vulnerable continue to be your true self then a lot of this stuff can fall by the wayside but you gotta be you you gotta show up as you because i don't know that you putting on a show for me i don't know this but I've dated enough to know that that's usually what happens. But can we just get rid of that and just be who we truly are? So you be vulnerable. I'll be vulnerable. We can see if we actually like the true us in the beginning. Number five, you already actually doing it. If you have done this, which is letting down your guard because you have actually shown the person and told the person that you're nervous. Again, you're becoming vulnerable. They're, they're becoming vulnerable. Your guard is actually letting down so you can truly have a lot more fun. And the nervous energy is going to start to go away as well. The sixth thing you can do to become a more confident dater is to let go of the expectations. Now, I'm not saying throw them all out the window. What I am talking about, especially if this is your very first date or the first couple of dates, you want to let go of your expectations because what you should be doing on your first couple of dates is having fun. Getting to know them, them getting to know you. That's basically it. Once you start thinking about, are we going to actually have a date number two? Are we going to have a date number three? Where's this going? Am I wasting my time? When you start going through all of those things versus just having fun, you end up not having fun at all because you're going through your checklist and now you're, you're really paying attention to see, okay, did he open up the car door for me? Was we laughing enough? Did he say that he was interested? Is he going to make another date? Like you're doing all of these checks, but you're not having fun anymore. 
So just have fun. Go with the plan to have fun. Go with the plan to get to know the person. Go with the plan for them to get to know you. And then guess what? When all of those things are in place, naturally in place, date number two is really right around the corner. Before you leave that date because you just had so much fun and let go of your expectations, you would be surprised. Hell, I would be surprised if you didn't tell me that you got a date number two unless the date was just horrible. Go have fun. Get to know him. Get to know her. That's it. That's all you're doing on the first couple of dates. Don't worry about where it's going to take you. You're jumping too far ahead. Slow things down and stay in the moment. Number seven, the final one that you want to do is to not give up on dating. You know why? Because that's the only way you're going to be a more confident dater is to date. You have to practice dating in order to become a more confident dater. Because the more that you do something, the better that you get at it. So if you are a horrible dater, if you never get out to date number two or date number three, you need to continue to go out on dates because you sucking at it <laughs> and you need to practice. But don't give up because dating is a journey. Most people that date want to get into relationships, but it's not everybody. So maybe the first couple of dates that you went out on or the first couple of people that you went out on a date with, maybe they really wasn't into moving it to the next label level. Because some people just loved all of those feel-good feelings. They want them every single time. The new person, new person, new person, new person, new person. They like to stay in the honeymoon stage. And that's okay. But if you're looking for something deeper, you have to continue to practice dating. And to become a more confident dater, you have to do all seven of these things. All right? I definitely want to hear what you have to say. Do any of these things help help you out? Are you going to be a more confident dater? Have any of these things worked for you before? Is there something that I missed? Definitely leave your comments down in the comment section below. I definitely want to hear. Let's continue the conversation like we always do. I will see you guys in the next video. Deuces.